connecting the cloud recording. Hello, welcome to Compline with Gigi and Rachel. Good evening. How are you all? You can't respond because we're recording. Yeah, we're listening though. In our hearts. Yes. <laughs> All right, our order for Compline begins on page 127 of your Book of Common Prayer, which looks like this. And yours that says Ascension on it, which is fantastic. It does. There it is. Very cool. Represent. Represent, indeed. <laughs> All right. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen and alleluia. I love that we can say that and worship again. Okay, we're going to be reading Psalm number 24, which if you're following along in your Book of Common Prayer is on page 613. 613. And we will be reading responsively by the whole verse. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who founded upon the seas and made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord and who can stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart who have not pledged themselves to falsehood, nor sworn by what is a fraud. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Okay, back to page 131. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. All right. Rachel, you have a story for us. I do have a story. Today we're going to read Oliver's Tree. Is he an elephant? Is Oliver an elephant? Don't give me any spoilers. I need to know. <laughs> so we have Lulu and Oliver and Charlie. I love them all. Once there were three friends. They loved to play outside. 
Ready or not, here I come, said Oliver. Look, they're playing hide and seek. Oh my God, he's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oliver spotted Lulu. He jumped and jumped, but he couldn't reach her. She's way up in the tree. This is not fair, said Oliver. Trees are out of bounds. But trees are the best hiding spots, cried Lulu. Not all trees are the same, Charlie said. We'll find a tree you can play in too. So they found another tree. Look, said Lulu, this one's low to the ground so you can climb it. But it was too small. Oliver couldn't fit. So they found another tree. Try this one, said Charlie, the branches are big. But it was too tall. Oliver still couldn't reach his friends. So they found one more. Perfect, Lulu said. We can help you up. And it was just right until crash. It's hopeless, cried Oliver. Elephants just don't belong in trees. Oliver walked until he was too tired to take another step. Poor Oliver. Poor Oliver. When Lulu and Charlie found him, Oliver was fast asleep. Poor Oliver, said Charlie. He's so sad. I wish we could help him. I have a plan, said Lulu. Lulu searched high and Charlie searched low. They gathered sticks and moss and pawfuls of leaves. Then they rolled and patted and tinkered and nudged until everything was perfect. Surprise, they shouted when Oliver woke up. Where am I, Oliver asked. In a tree, said Charlie. It's not too small and not too tall, Lulu said. It's a tree house, perfect for all of us. Hooray, trumpeted Oliver. This is the best tree in the world. That may be my new favorite book. It's amazing. Thanks, Dolly Parton Library. I'm just saying that may be my new favorite book. I may or may and not have stolen this from my little brother. I mean, Oliver is a hero for all the ages. Seriously. He's persevering. A lot of good messages in that story. I love that story <laughs> so much. <laughs> okay, we'll continue with Compline on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you've redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, what I've been doing for the past few Complins is um, during this little silence may be kept is to do um, a few kind of just grounding breaths. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a little hand signal that I do for breathing. So when I separate my hands, that's breathe in. When I bring them together, that's breathe out. Um, so we'll do three breaths and then I'll use vocal cues as well. So, okay. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. and breathe out. Okay. All right. We'll continue and finish up on page, the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is speaking, O Lord and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. We will be back tomorrow night with live Compline for Thursday night. And hope that you all have had a, um, a great day and um, we are with you in spirit and hope that you are doing some soul tending through all of this as well. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.